Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on adding Poxag to the MMDBM hotspot. So by the end of this video, I'll show you guys how to join DAPnet and configure it on the PyStar so that you can send pages to the worldwide ham pager network. Uh, before we jump into configuring and setting this whole thing up, let's look at a quick demo. So here I've got a curl command. We're going to hit the REST API on hampager.de. Basically, when I execute this command, it's going to send a signal out over the internet to the servers that I believe are in Germany. They're going to process it, send all that data back to my hotspot, which will then transmit the POXAG message to my pager, and we'll be able to hear it on the ICOM here that's tuned to 420 megahertz, which is the floor of the 70 centimeter band as defined by the FCC here in North America. So I'm not going to speed this up at all. This will be real time. Let's go ahead and kick off this request, and away it goes. There we go. We heard the traffic come back. We've got the pager beeping here and we can see if we look at the page, it says hacked existence testing DAPnet. So our page went all the way across the internet, came all the way back to our hotspot and transmitted on 420 megahertz to the pager here. So let's jump over to the computer and learn a little bit more about DAPnet and what it is. So you can get to DAPnet by going to hampager.de in a browser and just looking quickly at the stats, there are 4,600 subscribers, about 3,700 transmitters, 5,600 users. So it's pretty significant setup they've got here. If we look at the map, we can see there are transmitters all over the world. So this really is a worldwide, completely functioning, modern pager network that anyone can join. So to get started, we're going to click on the ticket button here and we're going to open a new ticket and you're going to fill out your email address name and call sign and then you're going to open a new dapnet account with or without a rick if you have a pager that has a hard-coded rick you can select this and provide a rick or if you have a preferred rick i'm able to program the rick in my pager so i did an account without a rick and just let them choose one for me once you get that you have to provide them a photocopy of your ham license showing your call sign so that they can validate you're authorized to operate on the network uh they're very very responsive, very helpful. It all happened very quickly over email um, and they will provide you with a login and a password to the website as well as a RIC that is on the network. After that, you can come back and request a new DAPnet transmitter where they will provide you an authorization code that will program into the MMDBM hat. So once you have your transmitter code, you can come over to the PyStar and here I'm just going to go to configuration. If it asks you to authenticate, the default username is PyStar dash star the password is raspberry all lowercase and this is picking up where my last video on setting up the pi star ended so if you haven't done that yet you're going to want to configure your pi star get it up and running on your wi-fi and now i'm just going to go down to poxag and i'm going to turn that on and hit apply changes and after it restarts, we now have the Poxag configuration menu here. So I'm going to leave the default Poxag server. I'm going to change the call sign to my call sign. You should change this to your call sign. I'm going to change the radio frequency to 420 megahertz because that is what my pager operates at. You're going to want to put your ham radio pager's frequency in there. And then for the auth key, you're going to type in that auth key that they emailed you. And then in the Poxag whitelist, you're going to put the RIC code that you received for your pager and hit apply changes. And once that's all up and running, if we go to our dashboard, we can see that we have Poxag is now in enabled mode and Poxag net is green on network status. All right, now that our PyStar is all configured as a transmitter, we can come back to DAPnet here. And if we go to help and documentation, on this page, we can scroll down to send individual call under DAPnet API examples. And here is the curl command that I used at the beginning of the video. And here's how to do the same thing with the Python requests library. Uh, you'll note that you have to put in your call sign and your password. That's your login password, not the transmitter ID. Uh, but basically this is two ways to interface with the DAPnet servers and get a message sent back out your transmitter to your pager. There is also a form that you can fill out on the site once you log in to be able to submit them just straight from a form. So at this point, you have three different ways of interfacing with your pager. All right, so hopefully at this point, you guys have joined DAPnet and configured it on your PyStar and are now capable of interacting with the global ham radio pager network. As always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.